Hey guys, it's Hayes with CheatCheatPros.com and today is Monday, January 17th and we're going to look at some player props for the Monday night football game between the Los Angeles Rams and the Arizona Cardinals. So you can see the quick screenshot I posted. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at CheatCheatPros. I typically post these on Twitter in our premium group, our chat, and our uh, free Facebook group as well as Reddit and a few other groups. And I try to include anything if it jumps out at me, if it's on Thrive Fantasy, Price Picks, you can see we've got some differences here on Price Picks. Actually, there's a lot of value there tonight versus the other sports book we use like my bookie. So these are the ones I post. I'm going to go through and run through these, kind of show you what's jumping out at me. And then I'm going to look at a couple that's not on this screenshot. So one of the first ones we want to look at, the first guy here, Kyler Murray, I just go ahead and pull them up. And typically what I'm doing, I'm going to flip down through here. I'm going to look at passing yards. I'm going to look and see what his TD numbers are, look at the completions. And then I'm going to pull up something where I can see his game logs. In this case, I'm just going to use DraftKings because everybody has access to it. So one of the things that jumped out at me after doing what I call line digging is looking through here in the pass completions, at least 25. So I'm going to label this as over 24 and a half because that's what more people recognize as plus 100, so that's even money. So when I come back here and I look at his game logs over his last five completions, he's got ooh, uh, 32, 23, 27, 26, 28. So he's been over that the majority of the time, and he played the Rams on week 14. Oh, I can't get that to not move. And he went... 32 for 49 so he went well over that number threw for 383 yards and then also rushed seven times for another 61 yards so when I saw the 25 completions I really like that now if you're doing a big parlay and teasing them down which I see a lot of people doing in the chat you can take this down to over 19 and a half and add that into a parlay and he's only been under that once all season he's got a lot of 21 20 22s he had one game against Chicago where he was 11 of 15, but if we throw that one out, he's been over that. So I like over 19 and a half for a safe parlay. I don't mind the over 25 at plus 100. Anytime we can get plus money on something or even money, that's good. So we're going to do a quick 14 parlay. I'm going to put that one in there. Now I do want to point out um, over here on price picks, his past completions was 23 even. So you're getting even better juice. So on my bookie, you need him to hit 25. But on this one, you can hit 24 and 23 is a push. So there's some value over there on price picks. Um, the second one, I'm going to go right to one of his receivers, Zach Ertz. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Ertz. So when I was line digging on him, let me pull up his game logs. The thing that jumped out at me was one, his uh, receptions. So we had over five and a half at minus 123. We can drop this down to five, it jumps to 238. We could even take this up to seven, get plus money. Eight, we get double our money. And then nine, we get way up there to almost five to one. So sitting here at seven, that's not bad. That's plus money, but I don't mind this over five and a half or it's up to minus 123. Now you can see when I wrote this up and posted it, it was minus 115. So to win on my bookie, you need him to have six receptions and that's a win because it's at least six. But on price picks, they've got over five. So what I like about that is five is a push and then six is a win. But here, if we do five, Five is a win for us, but we got to lay minus 238. So we like his receptions over. And looking at the last four weeks, look at his targets. He's got 10, 9, 13, and 11. And then reception, 7, 7, 8, and 6. And this is a must-win game for him. So he's going to be heavily involved with another 10 targets. I mean, catching six of them, I don't think it's out of the question. Seven to get plus money is very reasonable. And I may ladder this up, do eight, do nine, and kind of see what we can get as far as that. Um, jumping over to Sony Michelle, so there's a lot of value on price picks here. So I was curious that, you know, the two running backs, which both of them should do well. Um, I stayed away from Arizona because there's not a lot of lines on them because Connor's questionable. So we don't know if it's going to be Edmonds by himself or if it's going to be a mix of Edmonds, Connor, and it's going to change their line drastically. So when we're looking over here at Sony Michelle, so we have over 67 and a half rushing yards. 
is plus 100. Let's make sure it's still there. So 60 is minus 120. And then I think I put it up to 68. So anywhere between 60 and 68, it's going to get you even money to minus 118 here. So that's not bad. That's a normal straight wager. Uh, price picks, I was shocked. They have his rushing yards over 53 and a half. So a lot of value there. So over 53 and a half, that's at least 54. So here on my book, it's minus 233. So I really like that on price picks. That seems to be a slam dunk. And if you come over here and you look at his game logs, he just played San Francisco, who's one of the most ridiculous rush defenses. And he rushed 21 times for 43 yards. Now, that doesn't look good, but that's not bad considering everybody that they've shut down. But prior to that, he had 74, 131, 92, 79, and 121 yards. So he's easily going over that. So if you want to get crazy with this, I like the price picks over 53 and a half. That seems like a no brainer. Um, if you're putting it here, you could bet it straight up at 60 on this book. I'd rather go to price picks at that point. But if you think he's going to go over 100 and have a big game, look, we can get this up to plus 231. So that's pretty solid there. And then we got Tyler Higby. Let's look at his re receptions. I tried to pick two players from each team and see who jumped out and kind of focus on them. So when looking at Tyler Higby receptions, he's been heavily involved in the passing game too with eight and nine targets the last two weeks and then six and six the weeks prior. But receptions, he's been a consistent six, six, five, five last four games played and anywhere between 41 and 70 yards. Not a ton of yardage, but a ton of receptions. And I think we're going to get the best out of every player tonight in a must-win game. So when I look at his receptions, I was kind of shocked. So let me see, what did we say he had last the uh, last four? Six, six, five, five. Okay. So I come over here. So this is at least five. So five is a win. So over four and a half is plus 125. And he's done that four games in a row. So I like that one. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to pull it up and take a look at it again and show you how we can manipulate it. So what jumped out at me is if I drop this down to four, it jumps to minus 250. But if I go up one, it goes to plus 125. So that's a drastic jump for five. And he's been doing that. And even if you jump to six, you can go to plus 171, although I prefer five at 125. But if you get up to seven, look at that, it jumps to 409. So I think... Ertz at nine receptions at plus 470, 475. Higby at seven at plus 409. Doing a few bets like that, um, you only need to hit one and you're going to be plus money. And who knows, if it becomes a shootout, it goes into overtime, anything can happen at that point. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to add, so if we have the Kyler Murray pass attempts over 24 and a half even money, Higby at least five receptions plus 125. Now we're up to plus 351. Now, if you add in these other two here, so you can see these top four, the four that we just went over, all of those will pay plus 900 on my bookie. I think it was like plus 901 or 905 or something, but about nine to one. So I like those as four plus money props that you can add in there. A couple other that, others that I do like are the Kyle, Kyler Murray rushing yards. So over here, we've got over 41 minus 115 basically. And then price picks has 35 and a half. So if we're gonna do over 35 and a half here, we gotta lay minus 250. So I really like putting that on price picks. So right now we can do a two man price picks card and we can take Kyler Murray over 35 and a half rush yards. And then, well, I guess we can't put his uh, receptions on there for the same player, but we could do Sony Michelle over 53 and a half. And here, let's see, here I'll show you the difference. Let me clear this out. So we're going to do the same thing here as what Price Picks has. And you're going to get much better value over there, even though I can't stand that side. And then Sony Michelle rushing yards, they've got 53 and a half. So we're going to put it at 54. So here, you're going to get even money on it. And over there, you're at least going to get plus money for the two-team parlay. I'm actually kind of shocked that's even money on here. Um, but anyways, we like that one. So the Kyler Murray rush yards, let's look at that. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place here. I've been drinking coffee and rearranging the living room and then decided to jump in and get some play. So his rushing yards, he's got 35, 44, 74. We'll throw out this game against Detroit and then 61 the last time he played the Rams. So 35 and a half on price pick seems really low. And then if we're betting it 40, 45, anything like that's pretty good. 
Sony Michelle anytime touchdown was even money. Price picks, it's over a half. That's the same. Um, the Sony Michelle receiving yards kind of jumped out at me. And at first, I just disregarded it and threw it out the window. But then I wanted to look at it. So price picks, ironically, I looked it up. It was over eight and a half receiving yards. So I really like that. So if we're going to do eight and a half receiving yards here, we can't even get it. So we've got to go 10 and it's minus 192 or 11 for minus 115. And then let's go take a look at his receiving yards. So what I'm looking at here is his targets. Is he getting one or two? Well, he's got four, five, and four the last three games. Now his yardage is only 6, 25, 4, and 23 over the last four. But he's getting four to five targets consistently. So he's kind of working into this pass game. Last week, I think Cam Akers had... Uh, three catches for 10 yards. So Sony Michelle's going to get a few catches and eight and a half yards. I mean, that's one of those one play paydays that I really like. So prize picks over eight and a half. I like that. If you want to bet it over 11 or 10, either one of those is good. Um, Cam Akers, I'm still going under on the rush yards. Prize picks had it. They pulled it down. I don't know why. Last week, he had five carries for three yards. And then he had three catches for 10 yards. He's coming back from a brutal injury. And right now his under is 30 and a half yards. So I like going under there, especially for a straight bet. Let me see if it's still up here. So Cam, rush yards, we're gonna go under. Yeah, so you can get under 30 and a half for minus 114. So pretty much a straight wager with a little juice. Um, price picks open this at uh, 30, I think it was 30 or 31. But the last time I saw it, it was 26 and a half. So it's been hammered on price picks to pull it way down. So Thrive had it somewhere in that ballpark, and I've got some tickets with it on it. But those are some of the ones that I like that I posted on the cards. Now let me show you some of the ones that I did not go over that I'm interested in. So if James Conner is ruled out, I like Chase Edmonds over anything. Receptions, receiving yards, rushing yards, anytime touchdown. I think those will be a lot of fun. Uh, Wesley I looked into... He gets two or three receptions a game. You can take over two. That's not bad. AJ Green's one that kind of jumped out at me. So I want to go over him. I didn't have enough room on my board to fit him in. So I wanted to go ahead and put it in the video. So he's kind of all over the place here. He had a game here. Last time he played the Rams, he had seven grabs on 10 targets for 102 yards. So last time he played the Rams, he was heavily involved. Now, I didn't go back and dig into that game and see, you know, who was out, what the situation was. You know, he was decent. Here, the following week, he had eight targets, caught four for 64. Didn't really do anything versus Indy. And then Dallas, he had three for six, but had 74 yards. And then four grabs on nine targets for only 23 yards, but he had four grabs. So a couple of things I wanted to look at was, one, his receptions and his yards. So his receptions, all right, over three and a half, minus 115. That's not bad. Um, I like that one. He's been over that in three of the last five games and doubled it the last time he played the Rams. And then let's go ahead and bump it up one. So we go up one. Now that's a huge jump. So we're going minus 114. Now if we go over four and a half catches or at least five, we're going up to 180. Now can he hit that? So he's been under, 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 over last time he played him. But we're getting paid good here. So let's go ahead and add that one. Let me pull that off. So we're going to do just a solo A.J. Green prop that I have one of my straight bets on. And then receiving yards. I like putting these together just because they're correlated. Um, so we have over 46 receiving yards. So he's got 23, 74, 33, 64. So he's been over it in three of five. Now what we're doing here is we have at least five receptions. So we want to see any game where he had at least five receptions what was his lowest yardage? So, nope, nope, nope. So here he was over five, had 102 under. Here he was five, he had 50. Here he was five, he had 79. And then five for 67, five for 112. So out of those, anytime he did have five catches, 50 was the lowest number that he had as far as yards. So I wanna pump this up to 50. I don't wanna lose that juice. But if we go up a little bit higher, um, let's try to get it just slightly over plus money, 50, 55, I think five for 55 is pretty reasonable based on the catches he does. So we can do this on a single unit play and get plus 208. 
So I like that just because if he does get one, he's likely to get the other. Now, he could probably get the yards and not get the five receptions. That's definitely possible. But if he gets the five receptions at plus 180, he's definitely going get to the, get the 55 yards. And if you want to get a little crazier, if two to one doesn't really excite you, which I completely understand, I like to have a few cards in there that are just, if they just explode. So if he does five for 100, 100 yards is 438. Now, last time he played him, he had seven for 102. So it's definitely in the cards. It's possible. That pays plus 575. And then let's see what the seven for 100 pays. And so this is kind of how you can just mix and match them and get some different things. So this one's going to pay real good. So seven catches pays 12 to one. So we put those together. So if he replicates what he had last time, seven for 100 yards, that pays 15 to one. So that's not bad. I mean, if you're a small better, you know, throw five bucks on there. Um, heck, even if you put a dollar, if you bet little games, I mean, that's going to pay you 15. If you do five, that's going to pay 75. 10 is going to pay 150. If you're a bigger better, you put 25 on it. It's going to pay 375. So that's not too bad. You want to get crazy, put 100 bucks on it. It's going to pay you $1,500. So any way you want to go, that's kind of a fun prop to do. Uh, one of the guys usually blows up. So those are some of the ones that I do like. And like I said, I posted this on Twitter, Reddit, and all our Facebook groups. Price Picks has some better lines. But if I get something where it's you know plus 125, but Price Picks has it on there, I would prefer to take the plus 125 straight wager. But if a straight wager is minus 150, minus 250, anything in that range, and I can get it as a normal pick on Price Picks, then I'm going to lean over there to Price Picks. Um, same thing with Thrive Fantasy. Let me pull that up and take a look at it real quick. I didn't put any on the screenshot. Didn't have a lot of time to flip through there, and I was running out of room. So let's look at NFL props. Kyler Murray. Okay, so they're they're very beneficial too on their rush yards. So over here, Price Picks had 53 and a half. No, that's Sony Michelle. Kyler rush yards. Where'd you go? Okay, so Price Picks has 35 and a half. Thrive has 38 and a half. So I like both of those because they're better than my book of his over number. AJ Green, 42 and a half yards. I like that one. Uh, Ertz, I like that one. Sony Michelle, Rush receiving. Um, you're better off just to do the over 58 and a half here and take that over. So Sony Michelle. So my book was 67 and a half rush yards for even money. Price picks was 53 and a half. Thrives 58 and a half. So price picks has the better line there. Okay, this must be where I saw it. So Cam Akers opened it like 31 and a half, and he's down to 26 and a half. So people are just hammering that under. That's one we talked about, but we can get a straight bet on our sports book under 30.5. So we get an extra five yards there, which could be beneficial. Higby, I love this one after looking at it. Um, okay, so we did the receptions. We didn't talk about his yards. So 39.5, that one wasn't on there when I first wrote this up. So I like to thrive over on Higby yardage. So he's got 55, 69, 41, 43 over the last four games. And this one's over 39.5. So he's got four games over that. So we like that. Um, Cooper Cup, I don't mind the over, but that's so high. I'm not going to do it. But I love the Sony rush yards over the Higby over, and then the Kyler Murray rush yards over. So you can do these three right here, and that pays, I think, plus, well, right there, 6.2 to 1, so about plus 600 for those three. And then you can mix in some of these other ones. Ertz isn't bad. I wish they had some more reception ones. But anyways, I bounce between Thrive Fantasy, Price Picks, my bookie. If you need a referral, I have a referral link in the description of this video. If some of the picture's a little blurry, Click on the cog and then click quality and take it to 1080p or 720p. That's a little better. But anyways, wanted to get a video for you guys to watch for these Monday night props. Have a good day. Let's make some money and we'll definitely be back and hit it next week.